Okay, you guys want to see a fun fact? Here's you ready for a fun fact? I, I had no idea this was even a thing. Um, what? I guess this happens all the time when it comes to like rich people, right? But whew, Trey Jones bought house that was previously owned by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Shout out to Dylan for posting this, but this was on Express News. What the heck? San Antonio Spurs guard Trey Jones and his wife Madeline in late August paid an amount likely close to 1.3 million listing price for a five bed. I'm actually shocked. I'm actually shocked it's only 1.3 million, okay? I am I am very shocked. The reason why I'm very shocked is because uh you know, you get a house that's like two bedrooms and that's 1.3 million dollars. Uh yeah, uh you can't you can't get a house. You're a millennial or younger, uh yeah, good luck trying to get a house right now. Uh hopefully that gets better. I don't know. Uh but anyways, so yeah, 1.3 million listing price for a five bedroom uh, house that was previously owned by Stone Cold Steve Austin. What the heck? Tennessee is expensive. Uh, yeah. I mean, everywhere is expensive. Yeah. You know where I really want to live? I want to live in Washington. I think that would be cool. I want to live in Washington. Heck yeah. I'm gonna visit Seattle next year. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out the vibes. I'll check out the vibes. I also like Colorado. I've been to um, I've been to Denver around the Denver area. It was pretty nice, especially Loveland. I really like Loveland. Um, but yeah, so isn't that cool? I don't know if you guys have ever watched like wrestling, but I was really into wrestling as a kid. My favorite wrestler was Goldberg. Um, it was Goldberg and I really liked Rey Mysterio. Those, those were some of my favorites. And then I liked Mark Henry, but I only liked him for his theme song because it was a uh, three, six mafia, you know, me being from Memphis and all. Hold on, I want to see something. I brought this up just out of curiosity. IGN did a top 25 wrestling list, and I want to see who's on here. Let's see, Rowdy Piper, AJ Styles, Bryson Davis. Let me see. What? CM Punk's pretty high on this list. Rey Mysterio, that's my boy. Andre the Giant, that's before my time. Roman Reigns. I feel like I was starting to get out of wrestling around this era. Edge. That's a bad image of Edge. There's better images of Edge. Mike Foley. Really? Huh. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold says so. Gosh, it was so fun. Early 2000s was so fun. Sometimes I go back and I like, I'm like, oh, was it just my nostalgia talking? And then I actually watched the footage from those times. And it's like, no, it's not just nostalgia. It actually was better. <laughs> like, cause I can go back and watch a movie that's like, I'm nostalgic for it and then recognize, oh, it's trash. Like Cradle to the Grave. Like I loved that as a kid because I was a huge DMX fan. They had the Eminem. I was an Eminem fan too. So they had the Eminem song at the beginning of it. I was a big Jet Li fan. I loved it as a kid. Went back and watched it. That movie's trash. So like I can recognize when nostalgia is just that nostalgia, but no, dude. It, it was a great um, era. What happened with Eddie Greer? Didn't he pass? How did he pass? What? It was it like a car accident? I don't remember. Randy Savage. I thought he would be higher. Kurt Angle. Hulk Hogan. I'm surprised Hogan's only 10. Sting. Um, My dad got a Sting autograph recently at a uh, convention, so... Triple H, I can see that. John Cena, John Cena's cool, man. Ric Flair, Ric Flair was fun. Brett Hitman Hart, uh, that's before my era. The Rock, I can see that, he's super funny. Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels was cool. Oh yeah, his, his, his theme song was awesome. Wasn't it the Sexy Boy theme song? I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy boy. I'm not your boy toy. He was cool. Undertaker. And hey, Stone Cold Steve Austin is number one for them. Hey. DMX worse so? I am so confused. What the heck? What do you mean? What do you mean by DMX? DMX is awesome. Heart attack caused by drugs. He was taking. Oh, okay. Eddie Greer. Okay. 
that's tough. Hey, interesting. But hey, uh, WWE is, it was fun. I tried to watch it recently just to like, you know, see what it's like. And God, it's so watered down, man. It's so watered down. I, I oh, It's so lame now. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, my era of WWE definitely had some problematic, problematic, problematic uh, things to it or whatever. But good gosh, it was like Disney Channel now. Like they're just trying to appease like the largest of, of audiences of like trying to make sure kids are good. I won't watch WWE until it's back to TV 14. Is it even? Yeah, because it doesn't feel like TV 14 now. So it's not even TV 14 now. Ah, oh, so terrible. Then there was X was the best DMX album. Oh, DMX worst actor. DMX, oh yeah. Acting wise, it wasn't that great. Make me an offer. That was terrible. Anyways. WWE is currently called the PG era. Oh, really? So it's not just me? Because like, when I was watching it, I was like, I don't remember it being this watered down. Like, it just felt so watered down. Is DMX dead? Yeah, he passed away. Um, I think it was drugs. He, he always had a drug problem. TV 14 was gone by 08. Oh, my gosh. It's like, it needs a little bit of edginess. Like, it, it, it keeps it funny. Keeps it fun. Keeps the stakes high, man. I couldn't get into it at all. I was just like, what is this? None of these people are in the modern. Well, I guess they wouldn't have enough time to be on this list. But, I mean, John Cena kind of. But, like, John Cena was, like, when he got popular, that's around the time I kind of stopped watching around then. I think the last big event I watched was him going against Randy Orton. Uh, Pay-per-view. That was cool. Bring back steroids. Uh, yeah, let's not let's not do that. <laughs> it's just it's just the storylines were funnier back then. And maybe you can have it like PG and still be interesting. I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely not as fun. Good for Hulk Hogan for still being alive. Uh, Hulk Hogan is like. He's kind of a piece of crap, so. That PG is just for kids. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. So it's Vince McMahon. Yeah. Hulk Hogan coming for you. Oh, he's a great, he was a great wrestler, you know. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. 